Hi, ma'am. Yeah, we've had a bit of a problem. Oh, no, no, everyone's fine, don't worry. Oh, we've just had a flat tyre. Sean's pushing it now. <laughs> no, can you imagine me push? David's helping him. Yeah, he's fine. It's mainly in aeroplanes, but he does get it sometimes in the car too. What time are they reading the will? I don't know, we can try. Well, maybe don't tell him just yet. Yeah. Let me just find out. Sean, how far... Don't worry, Mum. We're pushing the car. A, a mouse riding a bird. I'd like to teach in a primary school. You don't even like children. That's not true. Yeah, hi. Uh, emergency breakdown services, please. Yeah, it's my uh, my partner's car. Yeah, it's under uh, Evelyn Ulrich. Yeah, I do. It's um. 6359-0171-0774-4244 But, can mice get pneumonia? I don't know. Mice definitely can't get pneumonia. How did Mum sound? Alright. She said Dad would be anxious. <coughs> We're not going to get there in time. Maybe not. Whenever I go there, it feels like he's just talking at me. <coughs> Have you spoken to Charlotte recently? Living with Evelyn? Of course not. So does she not need her car then? Well, it's the weekend. <coughs> David, do you need some water? <coughs> How's House of Horrors? The damp patch in the kitchen's been getting bigger, but she became one of those jobs. Came through the other day, so now there's a hole in the ceiling and bits of kitchen keep falling in our cereal. <laughs> Shit. What's it going to cost? Depends if we can do it ourselves or if we can get someone else to do it. You can fix that yourself, Sean. Sure. Well, it's going to cost a lot of money. I think it's cost for today then. How's Evelyn? Yeah, she's just been Evelyn. Everything that's been going on, she's been Do really... Do you mean everything with Charlotte? No, I mean everything with the house. With David? With things like that, we just laugh it off, you know? Like, the other day, we were in town, shopping, and it just started pissing it down with rain. And we didn't have any coats or umbrellas or anything, and we got soaking. But we just laughed about it, you know? Yeah. I think he's finished being sick yet. Weary travellers, come in, come in. Oh, we must have had an awful day. Sean, get your feet. It's nice to see you, David. Hey. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks. 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 Thanks
What happened to Dad's armchair? Oh God, yeah. Well, it's had to go in for repair. One of the legs fell off. So of course, the new one's out of the question, of course, so it's on its way to Wolverhampton. How's the reading? It's quite formal, actually. Not too extravagant, but... Mm. Oh, Claire, you look so smart. It's a shame you couldn't make it. Look at little Sean. I wonder if that jumper would still fit me. You tried the house down when we got rid of that jumper, didn't you? <laughs> you look gay, Sean. She looks nice, doesn't she? Why is that still here? You're not engaged anymore, Sean. She's not your territory. Claire, don't. So what are you two whispering about? Sean's just having a tantrum about this photo of Charlotte. Sure. You know, she still pops around from time to time, don't you? Her father's in the garden. Now, David, you must tell me about Spain. Still haven't had time to fix the gate then. Not too much trouble with the car. No, it was just the tyre. Evelyn blew on about a month back, so that was the spare. I was thinking about bringing her. Given the situation, I don't think that's appropriate. Perhaps another time then. I haven't seen you looking that smart since your engagement. People have been asking about you today. What came up at the reading? You can at least wait until we're all seated, Sean. Would you like something to drink, dear? No, I'm quite all right, thanks. In fact, I was just about to come in. What did you talk to Dad about earlier? You didn't argue, did you? No, Claire, we just caught up. Oh, yeah. Mum was telling me earlier that her and Dad were going through your old room and they found some of your old books. <laughs> do you remember your heart, though? Sean used to have this notebook that he used to carry around and he used to write songs about all the girls that he loved in there. Charlotte had more than a few pages to herself, didn't she? I suppose you're right. I find things like that really awkward. Yeah, I don't know. Don't you think it was kind of bad that I wasn't there? Sean, I'm sorry about the tyre. No, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. I know. How's home? Is everything... Yeah, home's okay. What were you about to say? Just, is everything alright? Well... There's still a hole in the ceiling. What time did you get up? Mm, just after you left. That's a lie. So, I've had a funny sort of dinner. What do you mean? Well, the water got behind the freezer and it's died, so oh, I've just... fuck. Yeah, so I've just been eating things as they defrost. So far, I've had half an old burger, some salmon, and a lot of chocolate ice cream. Sounds like quite a meal. How 
Yeah, it's weird. Being around my mum and my dad makes me feel like a little boy again. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll pull through. You sound a bit tired. Have you eaten? No, not yet. We only just got here, so we just keep catching up. Oh, okay. I didn't interrupt anything, did I? No. To be honest with you, there's not much to say. So, is your dad still not warming to the idea of us? And what about the will? I just got here, so I don't want to make it seem like it's the only reason I came. I can imagine. Well, hopefully we'll discuss it later. Look, can I call you back later? I love you. Love you too. If you find a rocket lolly, can you save me one? Of course I can. Sean, you must be hungry. There's some soup left over for you on the stove. Sean's fussy about chunky soup, Mum. Is there anything in the fridge, dear? I'm sure there's something. Don't forget I've got to cook later. Do you mind if I use a bit of this bacon? How much is left? Quite a bit. How much do you need? Well, how much do you want? Sorry? How much do you want? Down. No, that was the toaster. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm sure you want to hear about today. I know it's not been long since the funeral and it's still quite distressing. I would have liked you to be been there today circumstances intervened and as it's been such a long time since you've seen your uncle he's been incredibly generous now your mother and I have inherited a small sum of money we're thinking of using it to build a conservatory in the summer which of course is very welcome you were quite young at the time so you might not remember but your uncle owned a holiday house in Cornwall He's left it to you and your sister, so I hope you'll be civil. You look disappointed, Sean. He was hoping for some money, Mum. It's a lot more than Sam got, Sean. We've just been having trouble with the house. Oh, that place again. Sean, you ought to think about the situation. You know how I feel about the decisions you've made. Well, with all your respect, Dad, it's none of your business. Don't, please. Now look, Sean, you listen to me. You're not going to walk away from your responsibilities and the distress that that girl... Oh, with Charlotte. I don't really think you're in a position to be lecturing about my relationships. If you want a solution to the mess you found your life in and your house in, move back with Charlotte. You need to take your responsibilities seriously. <laughs> Are you 
even listening to me?